Hi. In my previous video I showed you how to get into the DFU mode if your iPhone, iPod or iPad is stuck in the recovery loop or has any issues with restoring to a firmware. However, some of you had had the issue that they didn't manage to get the timing right or they have uh, one of their buttons, either the home button or power button is broken and thus they can't do the procedure. I'll show you here now how to fix this. It works on both Mac and PC, the procedure is the same. So what you see on the screen right now is essentially I've got an iPhone 4 here that says it's in recovery mode, but if I restore it, it'll uh, give me an error. The button on this iPhone is broken, the power button, so I can't I can't put into DFU mode. What we want to do is to now download a tool called Red Snow. I spelled with a zero instead of a O. And in this case, I'm going to go on the first one, RedSnow.us. That's a very good website. And click on Download at the top. Scroll here to the most recent version. I'm going to download the OS X version. <clears throat> Windows is exactly the same, just for Windows. Download, yes. Save file. Now we search via Google again. Now, depending on your device, this will change. In this case, I'm going to search for iPhone 4. IPSW. So it could be for you it's iPad 3 IPSW or uh, iPod Touch third generation IPSW. Click on search. My favorite is felixbruns.de slash iPod slash firmware. You can also just type that into your browser. I'll also have it in the download list below. Then this is important. You have to choose the right device. So for the iPhone 4 that I've got here, there are multiple versions. There's the CDMA version and the GSM version. So if your iPhone uses a SIM card, it'll be the GSM. And if it's, for example, on Verizon and doesn't use the SIM card, you click on CDMA. So generally, you'll choose the most recent firmware now. Otherwise, you'll come into problems. Then you'll download this. Save file. I can cancel that on mine, so I've already downloaded it. Now that we've got this, probably uh, this might be in your download folder. You'll have your iPhone IPSW, that's the firmware file, and you'll have Red Snow. So on a Mac, just double click. Uh, on a Windows PC, you might do the same and just pull the files into your desktop. Either way, just just extract the files, then open it. On a PC, you have to right-click and say Open as Administrator, and on the Mac, just Open. Yes, we do want to open it. Now this is how your program is going to look. So then click on Extras, then on Even More, and then it's called DFU IPSW. So we click on this. Yes, we want that it goes into the DFU mode. Now, we select the IPSW file that we downloaded. So in this case, this is the one I chose. So we click on Open. Now this will take much longer than on mine. It can take up to 5 minutes and even up to 10 minutes on a very slow computer. What this does is it changes the software a little bit so that when iTunes restores your uh, your iPhone, it first puts it into DFU mode. That's all it does. Now that it's finished, it will have created a file called enter DFU and then what iPhone you have. Uh, don't be surprised if it says something like, iPhone 5 and you actually have an iPhone 4S. It's just the internal numbering that Apple uses. 
if your original file was downloaded in your downloads folder, then the enter DFU mode will be in the downloads folder as well. I just did it put it here for simplicity. So now we can close this. We go back into our iTunes and it will say check for updates or restore iPhone. Okay, now this differs a little bit between Mac and PC. So in order to open the NGDFU file, we have to click and hold the shift button on a PC or on a Mac, click and hold the alt button. Both of them are in the bottom left of your computer. The shift button is the button you use to make letters capital. It's the arrow pointing upwards. When you hold it, then click on restore iPhone and then we can select our DFU mode. We click open. Okay, so you've got a couple of options that might have popped up now. Either your iPhone is restoring now and everything's working great, or like me, you just received an error message saying that the file is not compatible to your device. Uh, that's because, I, in fact, I don't really want to restore the iPhone I have right here now, so I chose a different one. Uh, alternatively, you might have accidentally downloaded the wrong firmware file. Also, make sure you're connected to the internet. If it fails to, if it fails to update your firmware uh, halfway through and it gives you an error message, just post it on the bottom of uh, in the comments, and I'll see if I can make a video for your specific error. It could be related to uh, a broken USB cable or failed internet connection or it might be that your host file is blocked because you used a previous jailbreak. There are many, many reasons and the error messages can help me identify what's wrong with your situation. If the videos help you, please like it, subscribe, and if possible, click on some of the ads. Uh, if it hasn't helped you, say in the comments why and I'll see if I can improve it. Hope your iPhone is working now again.